Okay, James, we're going to show you a little bit about field bullet sizing of your Parker Match Hunters. 327 grain Parker Match Hunter. Going to show you the proper way to size them. And also we're going to load the muzzle loader uh, with just the end cap on and with the muzzle brake on. Just so happens I left the funnel at home, so I'll show you the process of using the powder funnel at home and not on the range. But basically, you just put the funnel through the ventilated brake and the powder won't fall out because the funnel is long and it touches the muzzle of the rifle. So I won't be showing you that today. I'll show it to you in another video at home. It's real easy. So we're going to be shooting with the threaded end cap today and basically always either run the brake or a threaded end cap. Do not run the rifle without or ever take it unless you're cleaning it. Don't take it out in the field without this muzzle cap to protect the threads or the brake. Now this, <clears throat> this Lee Sizer is a portable one. You can either use it in the field with you, take it hunting with you, and size the bullets. These are pre-sized, and I'll show you that measurement in the shop when I take the rifle back to take down. These normally come at .451, and our target is .4495 to and that will change based on climatic conditions, whether or not you have extreme cold or extreme hot temperatures. This will vary, so I'm not going to pre-size all of these bullets. I'm going to pre-size a pack of probably about 20 or 25. I did that for another fella, and he just he insisted that I size all 100, and he just lost all 100 because he's hunting in very, very cold temperatures right now. So I do not pre-size these bullets. You need to learn how to do it yourself. And we're gonna show you the proper way with the hand sizer. If you have a die at home, uh, or a press at home, you can put this die, the sizing die, in your home press. But this works just as effectively, it's just portable. Again, these are pre-sized. So, We'll show you the sizing of the bullet next. Okay. okay, so this is how you size the bullets with your Lee press. Now, you have to set this up one time. And how you do that is, and I'll show you this in more detail at home with another video, but left will actually reduce the pinch on the bullet, meaning it's going to fit much tighter. If you go righty-tighty, it's going to squeeze the bullet, making it the proper size. Now this is already set. <clears throat> so I'm going to put an unsized bullet in. Keep your hand down here, not up here. And I do two passes, not three, not one. I do two passes. Okay, so that bullet is properly sized. How you know that is, and a lot of people, I don't know why they fumble on this, but it works, believe me. Um, your muzzle is tapered. It has a 45 degree taper um, in the muzzle. You can probably see it right here. It is tapered. It's called a tapered crown. What you want to do when you're first pre-sizing Wiggle it back and forth and it will start to slip. Don't push it all the way in. If you do, you're going to have to remove the breech plug and push the bullet back out the other way. But that fits nice and tight, snug. And it shouldn't be so tight to where when you put the ramrod to it that you're fighting the bullet down. You should have to exert a little pressure, but not much. But the bullet has very little play. If it doesn't fit right in, don't panic. you got to wiggle it and then it will start to go. That's how tight you want it. The base is always more difficult to get in than the body. So we're gonna 
load this up next and we'll show you the load sequence you can 